first ice creams for Duck Island came, um, they were on the Chimchuri menu. So the three people who started Chimchuri, which um, is a restaurant in Hamilton, um, they decided from traveling to America that they'd really like to give an ice cream parlor a go. And as I said, they were already making it on the menu, so they just moved these out. And that's just kind of how it started. Duck Island first opened, it, opened its doors in I want to say 2015, we had three physical stores. We have the original Hamilton East um, parlor, we have the Riverbank Lane um, parlor, and we have the Hobson Bee parlor in Auckland. We sell our ice creams in many supermarkets. The first um, supermarkets to take us on is Far Refresh in Auckland. Um, now we are in many countdowns and um, new roles around the country at the Metro and different art uh, popping stores. We do get a lot of comments, we get a lot of people taking Instagram pictures. Um, each of the parlors have its own kind of slight variation in style. The Hamilton one's a bit like rustic -y. the Riverbank is quite modern, um, and the Ponsonby is very pink, <laughs> very pink. So the original ice cream, the first ice cream was roasted white chocolate and miso. Our most popular flavor is definitely white chocolate pomegranate macadamia. I think when it was first made, it was just meant to be a temporary flavor, uh, but there was so much customer feedback and when we removed it, people were asking us to bring it back out. So it's been around and it's pretty much an iconic all the time. Uh, next is salted caramel cacao cup, give a high demand for that. One of the big plans of Duck to make sure everything is compostable um, partially because of the environment and the climate we're in at the moment and also they having um, young families. So this can be seen in how we use um, metal spoons for tasters uh, and all our cups are made from sugar cane and recently all our takeaway cups are now officially a PLA line which means they are commercially compostable. We still have further to go but I think it's all about small steps, especially in a place like Hamilton where we don't have a lot of composting, composting options. We make sure we use the best quality ingredients we can find. Our bases are all made with organic cow's milk or rich coconut milk. Um, we try to source local organic ingredients that we can get from around, so strawberries are from Hunnet, the coffee we use is from Rocket Espresso in town. We usually have about like six to eight vegan flavors out. Uh, we have a rich coconut chocolate, um, a coconut caramel with sesame, and chocolate and peanuts to that. Um, and my favorite are salted chocolate brownies, which is made with buckwheat flour, so it makes it good and free. Mostly made with coconut milk um, or their sorbet, and we make sure that it is just as good there, not just the substitute that they can enjoy. around the country. That's definitely where the owners get a lot of their happiness from. There are some plans for another pilot to be opening up soon and I think they'll just keep on going from there. A thing about the three directors is they're quite, they're quite relaxed and they don't plan too far ahead. So their big goal was just to make yummy food. That's a direct quote. I don't think they kind of expected it to get this busy, but they definitely did see that Hamilton just really wanted more businesses and um, they're just working the ice cream parlors around. We are a very close team. Uh, some people have commented on that. I think some customers can see that um, because we're a small team and I've been here since almost the beginning and some scoopers have been here since the beginning too. Um, so we've been able to build a really close-knit family up um, from the bottom and I hope people can see that. Um, I'd like to thank people can see that we're really close and would like to work here and be part of our close family.